waves have to move and whether it is a wave caused by a brick dropping into treacle or a droplet into water or an electromagnetic wave they all have some general characteristics there are a few basics the size of the wave is called the amplitude and is measured here and their velocity is given by velocity equals frequency times wavelength where the wavelength is the distance between two points where the wave repeats its sequence we will have observed the behaviour of waves with our interactions with light and water. There are three characteristics that also apply to radio signals. The three direct effects we are going to look at here are reflections, refraction and diffraction. Looking across the top of a still lake, it's obvious that at a distance the light is reflected at the water's surface. But nearby it is possible to see down through into the clear water. Poke a stick into the water and it becomes plain again that the stick appears to bend as it enters. This video explains the situation using the parallel of a car being retarded as it runs into thick mud. And then how this runs the car when it approaches at an angle. The bending effect is due to the change of the viscosity of the material the car is passing through. Waves interact. Two waves can sum when they're in phase. The phase is the difference in the shift of the two cycles and can be specified in a range as plus or minus 180 degrees or 0 to 360 degrees or expressed as 0 to 2 pi radian. They are all the same, but note the result. In phase, the two positive peaks coincide, as do the two negative peaks. It's the same across the whole cycle. 180 degrees out of phase, the positive peak cancels out the negative peak, and vice versa. The result is a total cancellation of the wave, that's 180 degrees phase shift. Now watch this graphic as a wave approaches a single slot. The wave passes through the slot, but rather than just carry on, spreads out. The amount of spreading is due to the ratio of the size of the slot and the wavelength of the signal. This is diffraction. Now, to take this point where a single wave approaches and passes through two slots, it is split into two what may be seen as separate signals. The two waves that progress forward do so in phase with one another, but consider this. Because the waves spread out, they are diffracted. The wave from the bottom slot has to travel a slightly longer distance than that from the top. As all of the waves travel at the same velocity, they are out of phase, and the further the distance from the centre, the greater the difference. Overlaying the two signals means that there are points where the waves are always in phase and those where they are always out of phase. There are points where the signal always sums to double the size and places where the signal is always out of phase and always cancels. These extreme peaks are called nodes and the flat spots are called antinodes and spread out in a pattern like this. Play a pure tone in a high finer room and placing a single finger in your ear move around the room. Here there are places where you will hear no tone at all until you either move or remove your finger. It's an impressive practical demonstration. This is known as destructive interference and also happens with radio waves.